hey guys welcome back to another video um, I'm gonna be doing my hair today I told you guys I'm gonna figure out my hair for this vacation so this is not a tutorial <laughs> this is me trying to do my hair it is like 5 53 in the morning right now we leave tonight so I washed my hair last night uh, kind of just let it sit under the towel all night um, it's a little bit dry <laughs> but it got to do what it do. So I lightly blew it out, nothing too crazy. So this is what my hair looks like blown out. This is what it's giving. Um, I don't like when it get too dry before I blow it out, but I had so much doing last night, so I didn't get to blow it out and do it straight out of washing it. So I still moisturize it. I put some leave-in in. And I think what I want to do is a half up, half down. Yeah, so I think I'm going to do a half up, half down with the hair that I have. I'm going to show you guys what hair I have. All right, so the hair that I have, I literally had just bought it. I saw it and bought it weeks ago. It is this Lulu Tress, sensational Lulu Tress drip curl. So I'm pretty much doing what the model has on because I don't have time to sit here and do anything fancy. So you see she has a couple flat twists. Um, she has hers kind of low. I'm not, I think hers is just like made into like a ponytail, but I'm not doing that. So I'm just going to do like a couple flat twists in the front, do some big um, braids in the back so I can crochet it on and I think that'd be fine. I think that will be fine so let me part it real quick then I'll come back so I'm not gonna do mine as low as she has hers because I think hers is just kind of like the flat twist and then made into like a ponytail which was why I bought it to begin with but when I started thinking about what I was gonna do to my hair I was like you know what I'll just do kind of a half up half down if I have enough hair left over I'll add some to the top and make like a little bun but yeah, this is like a braid out hair. Um, there wasn't much videos online about this hair. The one girl that I saw install it, she installed it all over and she didn't love it. She didn't love the texture of the hair. And she had tried to separate it, which made it too big. So I learned my lesson, don't separate it. Just grab where it naturally separates and crochet it in. So this should be quick. <laughs> should be quick. Because honestly, I'm going to keep the flat twist just as big or maybe six max across and because this hair is so thick and full I don't need to do like small braids in the back to crochet it onto so I want to do it big so the hair can just flow that's the plan so I'm just watching some YouTube videos while I do this so I'm up um, part it real quick do a flat twist, see how it's looking, then I'll come back and show you guys because I don't want to make this too long. Alright, you guys, this is what I have. These little faux, <laughs> I'm going to call them faux flat twists. That's what they're looking like. The back is just probably looking a mess. <laughs> it's not perfect, but that is what we have. This will get hidden um, once I decide what I'm doing. This is the hair. Open her up. So this is what the hair looks like. I got one B, which looks pretty brown, but it is what it is. So this is what one strand looks like. So it's like a braid out. Um, yeah. Let's try to see what it's giving. Oh, these are in the way. I gotta pin these out of the way. That is what it's looking like. Alright. So I'm going to keep watching my YouTube and putting these in. It doesn't take me too long to set my right now. I see the vision. I see the vision. Oh, I was supposed to put a little serum. 
Boots. This is the one by Curl Smith. That's it. This one. All right, so I'm gonna keep watching some YouTube see if I can get two of these, two of these packs installed, and then I'll come back. All right, y'all, we are back. The back is done. This is what it's giving. I hope it look okay. Um, my husband helped me fill all the little gaps. I wish I had more hair to make it even bigger. But this is what I got. This is what I'm going to use. It's got to work. So now I just need to do my little bun. I have this much left over. I'm just going to do this the cheat way, but I need a little scrunchie. Probably use the same kind of scrunchie. Okay. So I'm going to do the cheat way and just put this under here. Put this. Like this, like so, like that. And I'm gonna use this to put this back together. Try to get it real tight. And it's kind of a lot, but <laughs> all right. And then I'm just gonna wrap that. I think I need to go get some pins and stuff. And then I'm just gonna wrap this up. You know, I think I like that better. I will put another pin or something in there. And I need to trim some of the ends because it gets to like right there. Um, but yeah, I think it looks good. I'm just gonna fluff it, run my fingers through it, try to get it to look a little bigger and then just cut like this way, a little layer. So yeah, that is what it looks like guys. This is what $7.99 got me. I don't think it looks bad at all. Hopefully it doesn't tangle too much. I might put a little oil. Let me put a little bonding oil on there that I have right here. Just to um, tame it a little bit. Yeah, just gonna trim it, fluff it, take a little gel with me so I can touch up my edges. And that's it, guys. Mm -hmm.